Hey everyone, Brian Lagunas here, and, and today I wanted to make a video because I was scrolling my Twitter feed today, uh, just scrolling along, scrolling along, and then this tweet kind of appeared, and it, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way a little bit. It might not have been the intention of the poster of that tweet to do so, uh, but I, I thought it was something important that I should talk about uh, because it, it relates to a question that I get all the time. Uh, that question being, Brian, you know, what technology should I learn if I'm new getting into tech and what's the best way to learn that technology? OK, so first, let's start by taking a look uh, at this tweet and then and then we'll go from there. OK, so here's the tweet. And as you can see, uh, this individual, Zeno Rocha, hope I said that right. Uh, he tweeted a picture of a kid, you know, climbing some stairs, but skipping a whole bunch of steps. And each step is represented by a technology. HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, TypeScript. And, and the kid is supposed to be the junior developer, the new developer, right? And, you know, his caption is junior developers these days. <clears throat> now, the way I interpret this, and it could be wrong, but the way I have, and I assume other people interpret this, is that junior developers these days are skipping all the basics and going right to the, the framework, right? They shouldn't do that. They need to take the time to learn to do it the right way, right? I got to learn the basics first before I can move up. Yeah, well, I call BS on this. <clears throat> I call BS on this big time. There is no set way to learn something and everyone learns differently in a different way with different mediums. Some people are visual learners. Some people are more, they have to type and do it themselves, right? It really depends on the individual. However, I, I want to tie this back to a question I, I get a lot. <clears throat> and the question is, Brian, I'm new to tech. You know, what technology should I be looking at? I, I'm going to start with a question to you is, well, is there a technology that you're interested in, that you're passionate about, that, you know, you would really want to learn? And if you don't have one, then my next suggestion would be pick the one that pays you. I mean, right. I mean, pick the one that will pay you. So look at your local job market. Look at, uh, you know, jobs in your area that will pay uh, for a specific technology. Like, what are they asking for, right? Are they asking for Angular? Are they asking for React? Uh, are they asking for Vue? Is it just basic HTML and JavaScript? Which, you know, let's be honest, you don't see that nowadays. No one's asking for five years experience in HTML. Now, you don't get that. But what I'm saying is if you don't have a preference, Start with the one that pays because that's your ultimate goal is to make a living doing development, right? And so the, the next phase to that comes with, well, Brian, what's what's the best way to learn that technology? And this is where it ties into that that picture, that tweet that we just looked at, which was completely BS. You know, the poster of that tweet is like, oh, well, you have to learn all the basics first. Start at the very beginning. You know, if you want to learn React, wait a minute. Put on the brakes. Nope, you can't learn React yet. You got to know HTML and JavaScript and CSS. And yet, no, I call BS on that. 100% BS. Start with what you want to learn. Because here's the thing. Here's the cool thing about our brains. Uh, we can learn more than one thing at one time. That's right. You can learn multiple technologies simultaneously. I know. I know. It's, it's a crazy idea. But it's completely possible. Right? So if you want to learn React as an example... Learn React, create a new React application, right? So when I'm learning a new technology, I like to start with a very simple application to kind of build on my knowledge, right? I don't start with, oh, what's the basics of this framework and build my way up. No, 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 no. I create a new application. That application may be like a to-do app. I, I, I like to-do apps because they're small and they're simple and they involve common problems you'll, you'll, you'll need to learn. Like, for example, uh, CRUD, create, read, update, and delete operations. You'll need some UI. You'll need some interactions, right? So you kind of get into that. So start with a new small project and start coding away. In, in React's case, you know, you'll create a new uh, React project. And then during that, you're going to learn HTML. You're going to learn JavaScript. You're going to learn CSS. And you're going to learn that within the scope of learning React. So you'll, you'll learn all that at the same time. So, so don't think that you have to like limit yourself or time box yourself to like, oh, first I have to learn this block of information. Then I can move on to the next technology. And then, no, 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 no. Don't waste your time because let's be honest, our time is valuable. We only have so much time on this earth and you need to optimize it. So I don't buy into that uh, tweets 
message whatsoever. It is complete, utterly BS. The best way to do it is if there's something you want to learn, dive right in. Anything that requires or anything that that, that platform requires that you need to know, you will learn it along the way. So to recap, okay, if you're going to ask me, Brian, what technology should I get into? I'm going to tell you, what technology are you passionate about? If you're not passionate about anything, pick the one that will pay you. The next question is, well, Brian, what's the best way to learn? The best way to learn is to jump headfirst right into the technology. Don't worry about prerequisites, right? Just get into it. Start typing, start coding, and you will learn. There are tons and tons of information available on the internet for any technology you want to learn, period. Uh, <clears throat> even this month alone, in April, uh, Pluralsight is giving away an entire month free of online training. Uh, so if you want to learn new technology, you could start there. But really, you know, your, your favorite search engine is your best way to learn any new technology. Most of the frameworks and most of the technologies out today have great documentation and getting started guides to help you get through that learning process. So really, don't limit yourself. Don't think you have to follow some set structure that some person on the Internet tweeting about, you know, wants to set for you. No, that's gatekeeping. Right. And we don't gatekeep here. You do what you want, when you want and how you want to do it. Whatever makes you comfortable, whatever your speed is, however you learn, you pick the approaches that work for you and you go for it. Don't let anyone hold you back and don't let anyone put you down. Right. So that's all I wanted to say. I hope this video was helpful. If you disagree with anything I got to say, please, I want to know. Let's have a conversation. Leave a comment below and let's talk about it. I would really like to know your perspective on this. All right. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you next time.